Hi everyone. I just want to say first thanks for taking the time to, uh, to watch this short video that I've put together in support for Charles Dyer. You know, I've been sitting here watching this uh, situation just unfold into a total mess. It's really, really sad and I had to try one more time to do something to help this man and his family. And the only thing I can do is try to get the truth out there. And I found a report that actually shows, I'm sure you all have heard about it, it's the DNA forensic report that was done through the state of Oklahoma. I mean, their department, excuse me, the Bureau of Investigations over Oklahoma ordered through a warrant for Charles Dyer to have a DNA done and to be submitted in a state evidence. Well, guess what? This report comes back showing what we all already know, that he's not guilty. They did not find any of his DNA in any of the locations that the supposedly violent rape happened. So if there was a violent rape that happened, his DNA would be everywhere. We all know this. Well, this report even says in its own words, one in 750 trillion chances would Charles Dyer's DNA be found at this place. One in 750 trillion. This is straight from the most highest source in my mind of any kind of investigation is a forensic investigation. That means science is involved. Forensic science, very detailed, very intricate results that these uh, type of high profile cases need to have available for them to use when needed. And so they felt like they wanted a forensic report. They got it and it came in Charles' favor. And they have not used this or they have not even addressed this during the last trial. So we must get this out there. I think when people of Duncan County and Stevens County, Oklahoma, understand that their former military man, Charles Dyer, is not a rapist. He did not do this. He's being wrongfully accused and he needs you guys to please help him. All he needs your help with is to help tell the truth. He has a gag order on him. He cannot say anything. He can't do any YouTube videos to show what the truth is. He has been ordered to not respond to anything. So they can say whatever he, they want to say about him. The media is running wild with his whole entire uh, image, making him out to be some wacko, psycho, rapist, Timothy McVeigh. You know, and this man is innocent, and the report shows his innocence. So please, all he needs your help with is to not be afraid and speak out about this and go call your local media, call the district attorney, call the judge, just takes a minute. I'll have the numbers posted at the very end. Make a few phone calls, let them know you've seen state evidence to show he is innocent and get this investigation directed onto someone else who really did this. And it, I believe that something happened to that little girl, but I don't believe it was Charles Dyer. And the report shows that it was not Charles Dyer. It was not one speck of his DNA found anywhere where they said this rape supposedly happened. Nothing. So think about that, read this report, and then make copies of it and pass it out to whomever. You have, I have the proof. I have the proof right here, y'all. Listen, Charles Dyer needs your voice and your time to help show he's innocent. That's all, that's all we're asking. Money too, but you know, this is all about the truth. Once we get this out there and enough of you guys see this, the DA and the judge will have no choice but to have to do the right thing and drop it. He needs y'all's help. So please, come together, let's, let's help this man. Let's help this man not be uh, put behind bars because he does not go there. And we all know what's gonna happen if he gets arrested and convicted. He will maybe last three days. He will go, he's going to be killed. If, you get, if they get a hold of him. So please help this man, help save his life. He's very innocent. Thanks for tuning in.